Hey guys, Common Villager here, and it has been a while, but we are back in another season of the Long Drive. Um, now, the last time I had uh, recorded the Long Drive, uh, they didn't have as many updates as they have now. Um, one thing I thought was cool when I when I first saw the update was that they finally came out with a sort of a survival type of a, a setting you could use if you wanted to play like a survival game. We're going to try it. I'm not that great at it. I actually played the game about a month ago or so. And you have to really stay on top of your food. Water isn't so bad, but food is definitely an issue. So, uh, Which I, I, I do like. I, I If you've watched my long drive videos in the past, you know that uh, I had talked about how cool it would be to have a uh, survival type setting. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, I'm ready to get started. So, not much uh, needed, uh, not much to explain here. It's the long drive. It's a really fun uh, just driving game where you just basically drive for uh, endless... Uh, miles down an open desert road in a, a post-apocalyptic setting for the most part. So let's go ahead and click the start button here and we will be teleported to the beginning area. So it has been a while. We've got uh, different stuff here. We've got our computer. We're not going to be taking this with us of course um, just because I don't want to have to deal with it. So the game does give you, a, like for survival, it does give you a good amount of uh, food to start with, which is pretty cool. Um, so, anyway. I thought I saw a bunny rabbit. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Okay, so, ooh. Oh, no way. <laughs> what? What? We have got the station wagon. Are you kidding me? How lucky is this? Oh, they've also, I didn't really notice, they've reupholstered, unless I, I'm mistaken, the seats and everything. That's pretty cool. So, let's do the usual routine here, and we will um, pick up our gun, probably put it on that setting, pick up some BBs, because those are necessary. And, uh, don't... I might take the binox for no, wait wait back here. Okay, that's on two. Okay, very good. BBs, gotta have BBs, okay. I will take the binoculars for now. Put those on three. Yeah, of course you can't really uh how do we do this? It's been a while. Oh, okay. So, of course, you can see very far away. Wow, that looks so big in these binoculars. There's a little tower over there, way over there. So, anyway, enough uh, fooling around here. Let me put that on four. So, man, the station wagon, this is really, really nice. Um, wasn't expecting it, really, but, yeah. Oh, yeah, also, you can uh, actually smoke cigarettes. I'm not fond of smoking, personally, but, you know. It's you can emulate smoking if you want to, I guess. Okay, we got oil. Let's uh first things first, let's uh pop open that hood, see what we got going on here. We do have a little bit of oil, a good amount of water. Oh, I'm gonna see here. There's some water right here. We'll go ahead and take care of our water. We're definitely gonna need to replace that radiator. Um, because it does not look that good. It will probably leak, but that's to be expected. And uh, real quick, we'll go ahead and open the back here and put our water in here. I am not a big fan of carrying the jerry cans around, but it's uh, in a survival situation where water um, becomes uh, an important part of the survival experience. You definitely want to carry some water with you. Water is not really as hard as food, as far as I'm concerned, because... Water is found just about everywhere in the game. It's found in cactuses. You find certain stops in the game where you will find uh, water pumps. And also, um, starting out, you will find you have a sink here, and you can actually uh, get some water that way if you wanted to. If you hit uh, P, you will see 
uh, different menus. There's a in the like in the lower left hand corner there, like there's the health, um, and other stuff like that. Oops. Uh, well, there's also that. I did not. I didn't think that would happen so quickly. Let's just uh, dispose of this. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you do have normal bodily functions, which is was always. It was more of a gag in the beginning of the game. I think I heard a rabbit die outside. It's more of a gag in the beginning game, but um, yeah, uh, you still you actually have to. Uh, go to the bathroom for for the most part um <laughs> so let's see here let's get some oil go ahead and fill that oil up of course i don't normally keep any cans with oil or gas because it sounds like a good decision but carrying stuff for a long period of time does get annoying i'm going to open this again and i'm going to grab my food items in here we got some sausages these are actually really good um i you don't find a whole lot of them but um they're still good to have uh they really uh help with hunger and uh hydration if i'm not mistaken so let's see here uh i thought there was something else yeah there's like a roll over here so we'll get that in the back here. The station wagon, I'm really surprised that we got it, honestly. Um, yeah, these tires aren't looking so great. But let me make sure I got everything. Okay, that's good. I might just, uh, yeah, I might replace these tires on the side. And I could probably close that now. So let's uh, real quick. We will uh, do a little switcheroo here. Grab a, a wheel and put her back on. There we go. It's looking a little bit better than it was. So we'll do that. And now, let's see, we've got that tire. Grab this real quick. Yeah, that tire is in pretty bad shape, so... Let's get rid of that. Put that there and that there and put this over here. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Well, at least we got that. Um, I could maybe scrub that. Let's see what the other side looks like. Really quick like. Yeah, the tires are looking really bad, so we'll have to find some tires. Let's uh, use our little scrubbing brush and kind of fix up the outside of this thing just because it really needs some sprucing up. It's an old car and it needs some uh, touching up. Okay, uh, I'm not too worried about like the mirrors and stuff like that. Is there anything else? Well, I guess we could try to see if we could... Uh, no, no, don't dull everything just want to do the mirror if I can ah uh, too much time but I will go ahead and we'll keep this in here for uh, no <laughs> didn't want to do that let's see this just kind of wanted to it's been a while so do bear with me here how in the world do I get rid of this let's see oh what I don't know what that was uh, uh, I am now taking my car apart. Let's get out of here. No, no, no. Where's that one? Okay, let's sit here. And get out. Oh, isn't it? Uh, okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, press tab. There we go. Okay, it's been a while, so do forgive me. I try not to take too much time here. But... That's how it goes. Anyway, there's our scrubbing brush. We do have a, well, we do have some of this polish. We'll go ahead and uh, spruce up these doors here. Okay. There we go. Let's do the main body. Try to make it a little shiny. Let's 
Yeah. Let's see if we can get the hood. Yeah. There we go. We're looking good. We got enough for this part right here. So we'll go ahead and spruce it up. Looking a lot better. And uh, let's see here. We've got alcohol. No, thank you. Uh, we'll just uh, put this back on for now. We'll fix it up later. So let's see here. We've got. Uh, hmm. What's this at? A little spin up. Let's look at the inside of this thing and see how we see what we've got going on here. We've got our standard display. We've got a radio. Um, yeah, for the most part. Oh, what do we got here in the. In there, we've got some BBs. Okay, we'll leave the BBs in there just in case we need more. All right, let's get out. Um, let's uh, open this door and see what's down here. Okay. Um, hmm. I hear I heard another rabbit die. Oh, hello. This will take us take the misses with us and on our uh, road trip here. All right. So you. Go in there. Stay put. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty much good to go. I just want to check out everything real quick. So what do we have? We've got a big old barrel full of alcohol that we don't need. Okay. Now we got some purple paint. Uh, nah. Not in the mood for purple this time. All right, so let's real quick before we head outside, let's uh, put a BB in our BB gun. There we go, and we'll go ahead and open these doors. And let's uh, we'll get in our car. Alrighty, let's uh, fix our view here. Take that handbrake off. Let's uh, let's see. I think the, our little mailbox is right here. All right. Let's uh, handbrake back on, and we will go here to our mailbox, and we will pick this up. Try to. Well, anyway, let's see. Oh, wait, I think this... You know, I thought this part opened up. Anyway, here we go. Please visit me. Love, Mom. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to leave the letter there. Um, this will, uh... Get started. Well, the missus is already taking a nap, so we'll leave her alone. And... Kind of sleep over there, not right on the handbrake or nothing. There we go. So there's that. Um, let's go ahead and get started then. Wow. Just going to check this little uh, bus stop over here real quick, just in case. Probably won't find anything at all, but that's okay. Uh, yeah. Anything in here? That is such a narrow trash can. I've never really paid much attention to it before. In the States, I don't think we have anything like that. But anyway. She's all ready to go. Got a lot of fixing up to do, but she's looking pretty good for the most part. Alright, take that handbrake off. Oh, got a door open. Got a door open. Let's see if we can get it from back here. Yeah, there we go. And, yeah, let's do it. I see rabbits, so we're going to get out of here. We don't want to deal with rabbits if we don't have to. Okay, making sure I have my food in there. I think I do. 
we'll go ahead and get started. So, it has been a while, let me tell you. I'm so glad we got the station wagon though, because starting out, like, some of the cars are hard to control, as which is usual in this game. So, hopefully we'll get lucky and find something good uh, in our first episode here. We definitely need to fix the car up and make it look better. So, yeah, it has been a while since I've recorded this game. I'm trying to think. Uh, I remember, like, when I had played last, they had did some uh, updates to the biomes, where they actually have different biomes and different, uh, different types of, uh, scenery and weather, all that type of stuff. So, man, it is already getting dark again. I don't know if I can actually sleep or not. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Okay, okay, do I have my... Let me just uh, look real quick in here. Everything seems to be alright. Let me get back in the driver's seat here. Just real quick. I need, oh, yeah, there's my sausages. Come back here. Let's see. I guess we'll go ahead and have us a snack. Yeah, there we go. We're good on food for now. You want to keep these sausages because they're really nice to have early on. They really fill you up good and all that stuff. So there we go. There's that. We will go ahead and we might stop by this uh, light pole here and uh, take us a nap if we can. I'll probably eventually have to do some uh, night driving, but for now, just going to park here. Let's shut the engine down. Got the handbrake down, right? The missus is uh, <laughs> already snoozing. So let's see here. Let's uh, fall asleep. Okay, let's get going. All right. So, where were we again? So I was talking about like the different biomes and stuff. And that was a pretty cool change when it when it had happened. But that it's that was the about the last thing I had discovered about the game. I think they're still working on a multiplayer uh, thing. I don't know. I didn't read the update on that, but uh, multiplayer would definitely be fun in a game with a game like this, where you could <laughs> you could either have two people driving down the road or or two people in one car driving down the road either way it sounds like a good time oh man uh, no 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 wrecks no wrecks this little station wagon will really I gotta go back uh, just to see I just need to see if I get this thing controlled right. Hopefully I didn't drop anything. Uh, nah, I don't think I did. Okay. Yeah, you hit the edge of the road sometimes and that does, does you in just like that. So... Yeah, multiplayer, like I said, does sound like it'd be pretty fun. Um, especially if you uh, uh, have friends to <laughs> play with. <laughs> Sounds pretty sad. Most people... Uh, I don't normally play games like this with other people. I just normally play for fun. Mainly for my YouTube videos, but yeah. Okay, I'm kind of getting... 
kind of getting anxious about my food supply because I keep thinking I lost some of my food, but we're going to keep going because um, we can't just sit here and keep going back to pick up our food. <laughs> they do have like, I, I don't remember now, but I, I think there's something like little crates and stuff you could store your stuff in, but with the the way the physics work in this game, it I don't know how well that would actually turn out. Probably not good at all. In fact, it would probably uh, cause something weird. To ha something weird would probably happen if you had a bunch of stuff in a crate. But the weird physics are what make this what makes this game really fun. Even though sometimes, as we've discovered in the past, the car tries to uh, become a death trap for you and you can just random, I don't know if they fixed it yet or not, but you, you used to be able to just randomly get in your car and then something weird would happen and then you'd die and then that, that would be the end of it. So yeah, you'll discover all kinds of stuff like that. Um, gosh, there's so many uh, different uh, different things you can find. There's a ship over there? Yeah. We may go check out that ship and uh, fill up our gas tank. Might as well. Uh, whoa. Okay, I'm starting to starting to lose it here. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. So, yeah, there's yeah, this ship way over there. I don't know if I want to go that far out of my way, but uh, hmm. Ah, screw it. We'll go. Why not? Yeah, it's going to be a long drive. Hello, bunny. Bye, bunny. We don't like dealing with those bunnies. They're no fun. So, let's see here. Um, yeah, it's quite a ways out here. Oh, well. Didn't realize how far out it was, but we're already going, so we're going to do it anyway. All right. Yeah, really far out here. I forget how big these ships are. They're like really huge. But we've already came out this far. So what I'm going to do, because if I don't do this, I'll probably get lost. I'm going to point my car in a certain direction that way I'll know where the road is because uh, if I don't do that uh, I may get lost out here in the desert which it really doesn't matter I mean but I would rather not uh, lose my coordinates if I don't have to so there we go there's that take that out um, just real quick I'm going to check the time here okay so far so good gonna have to pause here in a few minutes because I got something I gotta do AFK but uh, it won't take long to do we'll go ahead and uh, actually I'd rather not just leave that open because uh, in case I forget about it but we should find we should find some gas here somewhere just have to keep our eyes peeled Okay, that's a mixture. That wouldn't be bad for a, a two-stroke engine, something like that. But uh, we definitely have something beefier than a two-stroke engine. Um, oil, a plenty of oil everywhere, and water. Even though sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but trust me, there's water and oil all over the place. There's a ton of oil right there. Um, nope. Alcohol? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. All empty. No. Well, just no gas is what I'm trying to say. Well, how am I... Okay, I guess I'll get you out like that. Mixture and another empty container. Okay, I did check these right. Yeah, you're empty and you're... Probably, oh yeah, gas and oil, right, okay. So, let's 
Yeah. Just thought I'd get lucky and find some gas, some free gas, just to fill my tank up with. Uh, no. Let's see. Got quite a few uh, barrels here, though. Yeah, nothing. Just need one barrel with a decent amount of gas. There we go. That's plenty. A good 20 liters will be enough. Will help quite a bit, anyway. So... I, since I'm going to have to pause here in a minute anyway, I'm just going to pause and I will uh, fill up this tank and all that good stuff and I will be back. Alrighty, so I got that filled up. So we got a good 22 liters of fuel, which is really nice. How are we doing on uh, food and everything? We already need some uh, drink. Well, we also kind of need, if you notice here, on the right the panel you got like your your uh, waste kind of stuff so let's go ahead and we'll uh, uh, hopefully no one will be over here well I doubt anyone will be over here anyway <laughs> let's go ahead and do our business real quick and uh, yeah <sighs> Come on now. There we go. There we go. Good as new. Let's go see if we got any more sausage. We do need some more to uh, eat. Did I lose my sausage? Please tell me I didn't lose my sausage. Uh, I always seem to lose the sausages. Let's make sure they're not just sitting in here somewhere. You didn't eat them, did you? Well, you know, she could have woke up and got a snack. That's ah, okay. I mean, they have to eat just like we do. Get up here where it's softer. There we go. Uh, I don't know. I guess I dropped my sausages. Well, let's get some bread, I guess. Oh, boy. Being out here in the desert, you don't have a whole lot to choose from anyway, so... Let's uh, eat this. That'll help a little bit. Bread does not really do much for you. Okay. Let's uh, get a drink of water. Because, uh, I don't know. I don't know what happened to my sausages. I'm kind of salty about that. Because <laughs> I had them back here and it probably got flung out. Or the wife could have ate them. Who knows? That's fine. She's still snoozing away. Let's get back in the car. And we'll see if we can find another stop somewhere before we end the episode. I'll take the handbrake off. I do have the car pointed in this direction, so... We should be able to find the road fairly easy because we did travel quite a bit of ways out to get to this ship. But, bye bye, ship. Thank you for the gas. Uh, nice open plains. Really nice. Well, desert. Not really plains, but that's okay. <laughs> so, way out here is the road somewhere. Oh, wow. That was close. So... There's the telephone poles. And now we'll get back on the road really easily. Try not to wreck again. I don't got any food on me, but it's I don't like losing my stuff either. Okay, there we go. Let's keep going down the road and hopefully find a nice stop before we end this episode. Yeah, he can see those ships from quite a ways away, and they're really big. But there's so many things I haven't discovered on this game. Um. 
and each each game this that, that's what makes it pretty cool each game is like you know you you uh, have a random car you start out with it could be any car in the game of course there is quite a few more automobiles in this game than there was when I had actually done my last YouTube series on this so it's really hard to say what we'll run into and what we'll find but that's okay oh hey yeah here we go or is that they look like those twin buildings but I think that's actually mountains or no huh yeah, mountains. Never mind. That was a mirage. That's going to happen. But it really looked like those uh, one buildings that have like a bridge across them or something. Okay, let's see here. Getting dark again, of course. To be expected. Let's see. Uh, well, I don't know if I can actually sleep right now, or not. I know I can wreck my car. Let's just see if I can sleep real quick. Yeah, there we go. So let's see here. I'm just going to check something real quick. Uh, we'll drive down the road a little bit further. I want to at least find one stop before we quit. If we get lucky enough to find, we did find that ship, but I mean, that's ships are everywhere anyway. And I would rather find something first. I don't know if they've actually made any new uh, stops or not, like new buildings. I know we had, and an, uh, the last time we I recorded this, we had uh, found like a cafe, gas station kind of place, which was uh, definitely new at the time. What in the? What is that? It almost looks like smoke. Is there a fire somewhere? Okay, now I'm curious. <laughs> what is that way out there? Yeah, it's, uh, that is uh, mysterious. I don't know. Oh. Well, here we are. Barely, barely saw you there. Okay, well, let's, uh, we've got some tires here, we probably need to replace the tires on the left side of this thing. Maybe, if we're lucky, we'll find some food. Hmm, what are you? Something heavy, it looks like. And what do you, you have? Oil? Let's go ahead and... Uh, yeah, I'm already getting hungry again, which is kind of unfortunate. But I don't have any food on me. No, I want to... Uh... Oh, get rid of you for a sec. How are we doing on oil? Well, yeah, we do need... We do need a little oil. Okay. Uh, can I have that pack? Okay, now, let's see. Water? I think we're good on water for now. As long as we don't get too low on water. We'll have to stay on top of that, though, because it will get lower with that bad radiator. Let's uh, try to jump our way up here and grab... Well, 
actually try to grab the whole thing and replace it. Try not to destroy our car in the process. Um, yeah, there we go. And you can go bye bye. Man, that's a really disgusting looking tire. Ah, uh, come on. Sometimes. Now this should work. I don't know that. Oh, I know what's wrong. Got to get rid of the hubcap. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Hubcap was uh, on there, and if you can't put it on with the hubcap on, that's one thing I've discovered about the game. So, let's see, I know there's another, yeah, there's a tire over here. Oh, a white wall tire. Hmm, huh, that'd be cool to have all white wall tires. I've forgotten that you can get white wall tires. My thing is, uh, yeah, well, it looks better than the tire that's on it, so why not? But yeah, I, I do remember finding white wall tires before when I did a little bit of a playthrough on this game, like. I didn't play very long. I like maybe traveled 50 kilometers. Oh, cool! A regular kind of. I like that. Yeah. Oh, is that? That's not like going to be gigantic, is it? Oh, there it is. That is pretty big. Yeah. That's going to throw <laughs> my balance off really bad. So. Well, let's put this old rusty tire back on for now. Oh well. Okay, so um Is that all there's a jerry can over here? Grab that. Might as well this gas right. Yeah. Might as well. And that's all that had. Uh, what else do we got here? What are you... Oh, a magazine, huh? Yeah, I think there are, like, machine guns now. <laughs> uh, I guess if you have the feeling to uh, machine gun a... Yeah, these little baskets. You get these little baskets you can put stuff in if you really wanted to. But, nah... I think I'm good. Uh, oil. There we got oil. So, how are we doing on... Yeah, we really need food. You'll notice in the lower left-hand corner, the red meter is starting to go down. It's because I'm starving to death, basically. I didn't... Let me just make sure I didn't uh, overlook my sausages. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, there we go. Well, anyway, let's just uh, get back in here. Let's uh, adjust our review mirror. Hello. Well, I kind of look creepy. <laughs> I need some sunglasses to cover up my eyes with, maybe. I don't know. Anyway. We're going to go ahead and call it quits here, and uh, I feel like I left something open. Yeah, I did. We'll get back out on the road in the next episode and see where it takes us. So anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I will see you all next time.